So we all know that mobile games are basically all pay to win. But, you know, most of them have workarounds. You know, you just, you progress slower if you don't want to, if you don't want to, you know, spend those dollars on it. But now this game, how they have it is just unacceptable. And let me tell you, this is a player versus player game. So if you're not spending money on this game, then the other person more than likely is. Especially when you get into Bronze League and Lord only knows if you're in Silver League or Gold League how much it is. But look, I'm just in Bronze League now. And it has literally just become a battle of have I spent more money or have they spent more money? This game was fun for like three weeks I was playing and I was loving it, okay? Me, myself, I'll admit, I, I bought at least two of these little starter packs and probably spent over, what, I'd say $25 in total. They're a little cheaper than these ones here, the ones I bought. They give you some that are cheap, you know, starting out. But then you get playing and you realize just how ridiculous it is to level up some of these pins, okay? I'm going to show you an example. So you can see, right now I only have 4,687 silver, or whatever they call the currency in this game. We're going to take my Kate Diaz, for example, okay? So I got lucky, you know, I got her in this $13 pack that I bought. Awesome, right? But no, because look, to upgrade her, it literally costs 50,000 silver. And, like, what? Are you kidding me? And then you look at this thing. You need to find, spend 500 of these crystals just to get 10,000. So you're telling me I could level up two epics for what? Let's see how much money that would equal. For $7, I can level up two times. That is absolutely ridiculous. And you you might just be thinking, oh, well, that's just, that's just, you know, the epic. They're purple. They're supposed to be harder to level up. Even take my gold. And look, 20,000. He's only level 6. I, I, there's no way I'm ever saving up 20,000 unless I, you know, just shell out the money. I don't know. This, it, it's, it's getting harder and harder. Like, I play games... And I'm battling these people, and they have all these ridiculous leveled pins. Not to give that the fact of actually even getting them when you buy one of these things. Like, let's see, $54. What do you get in this crate? Okay, you get four legendaries, 173 gold, 1,036 silvers, and about 5,000 bronzes. And, yeah, they'll give you, they'll give you a bit of money to go. Trust me, you're not even going to get half of half the way through leveling up any of those. And you're going to, oh, right now, got to gotta spend more money on this game. And, you know, they have, let's see, look, little horde things. They have little ways. Oh, what's this? 400 and 600, 600, 900. Like, and these take about five minutes apiece. It's pretty much saying if you want to level up anything, you have to sit here all day, waste your entire life. And I enjoy this game. I've been trying to play it, and I've been trying to play it. But it literally has just gotten to the point where it is nothing more than just have I spent more money than them or have they spent more money than me. And to make things just that much worse, you actually need to win games just to unlock these little packs. And look, you can pay money and open them sooner but even with waiting the seven hours look all you get is seven silver and 79 bronze from that one you know this one two 24 right and it's always it's always for the same generic oh the shock grenade the ink you know like you let's look what are the chances of actually getting anything good from those let's see Let's say you get the highest one, okay? This gold one, which only ever comes once in a while. But even if you get that, you only have a 
63% chance of actually even getting one of the legendary pins. You only get three gold, and like, you need so many duplicates to begin leveling up. Like, let's take him. If I wanted to get him to level eight, I need 150 of him. But, you know, or I could just go to the store, you know, buy packs and just start opening them up until I get them. It's, this game is just, it's too pay to win. Save yourself the time, the effort, save your wallet. Because, trust me, if you want to play this game and be serious about it, you're going to be spending some hard-earned cash. Now, if you just want to play this game, you know, you just want to link your Xbox account, get some achievements great it's, it's fun it's honestly it's fun for the first little while until you get into about bronze league you can probably just go about without spending a cent i did hit a bit of a pay curve about i don't know probably when i hit about level four or five but that was only seven dollars and that kind of fixed that one not that bad okay you know i don't mind spending spending some money on a game but if you're going to base your whole game around a pay to win model you can't make it pvp the progression system can't be based on who's paying more money all right guys rant over ultimately make your own decision i just thought i'd make you this video today and say my my concerns on why you shouldn't play this game uh yeah, I hope you guys have a good one, and always keep it fast, folks.